We're back. Oh, you didn't know. We have a whole nother video here. So if you missed all the other ones, I guess this is the new one to you. You'll have to figure it out. Anyway, this is a cool shipment of animals. We just got back from Tinley Park. <clears throat> and here we go. It's full of cool, rare, awesome, fun stuff. Oh. oh yeah. This is definitely right. what's a in a box. Bronia, so we, got, we got a bronia. I forgot what kind of brony that little sucker Arita is. Or whatever. What is it called? I don't know how to say it. Uh oh. Arita? Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, okay. Where's your oh. whole container going? Oh, you better be ready. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> Oh, here, I think I found a video. I, found, I think I found this oh, cup. Okay. Whoa! We got all kinds of escapees, <laughs> but they were safe. That is a go. very rare python called a reticulated oh. python. Almost none in existence in captivity. Oh, we got thousands of them. Anyway, <laughs> this is a little, yeah, what am I doing with shipping a, a retic to me? So there's a thing called US Ark. Basically, they're protecting your rights, our rights to have animals because a lot of rules are made just because people are scared of animals and they're worried that they're gonna take over the world or whatever, but anyway, they're making sure that we get a voice. And that's who, that's so we, we're at an auction and that we got at an auction as a motley. Here, we'll bring it over here, girl. Sorry. That is a motley and uh, it's a reticulated python and it's an awesome little snake that needs a good home and we're gonna make sure that it finds it. That being said, we got some cool stuff in here that we didn't get at an auction, some we did. This is a cool little bearded dragon we got, just because it's beautiful and it was also there. So we wanted to grab it and give it a good home. Look at that, is that awesome or what? It's beautiful, we got some really cool ones last week, but we haven't got a chance to show you guys, but we will show it to you. So the Bronia was a Bronia Rita, this, I forgot the scientific name, but they're really cool. The leaf tail from Matt, from uh, Australia leaf tail gecko. Is that cool or what? Isn't that unbelievable how the pattern and their, their dots, the camouflage, literally when they're hiding in a tree, you have no idea they're on bark and all kinds of different stuff. We got a pair of those. Those are actually a, a, a surprise for somebody else here, but they're really cool. I can't even keep these in the zoo because the zoo has a tendency of being a little bit warm and these little guys can't get over like about 78 degrees or they run into problems. So these would be fine in the winter, but not in the summer in our location. So these are some kill bail, killed lizards. They're really cool to check this out. Look how long their tail is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Grab that cup. There you go. Whoa, grab the cup. I'll take care of the rest. You got the cat. The okay, okay, here we go. Whoa, look at the tail. I don't want to break his tail. His tail is super long. Oh, gosh. Look yeah. how long his tail is. So he's really cool looking little guy. They, they, I, we actually have two more in here. This one's kind of blue. He's really awesome. Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh making me nervous. That being said, look what else we got here. Now I'm a little bit confused. Yeah. I only remember getting one. A golden child. So it's a little golden child, same thing. Now, of course, Buy a Reptile has all this cool stuff anyway, but we just wanted to help out with US Ark. And that's why this guy is gotten, because he needs a home just like the other one. And we raised, we were, they were able to raise $143,000 to help protect your pets. And uh, yeah, yours. <laughs> not just reptiles. Yeah. Not just right. They so this is this is something that my daughter doesn't even know we got. This not is not this one. Right. <laughs> so this is a little female. Whoop oh. whoop whoop whoop. And it's a chihuahua. And it's a girl. Whoa! Oh. It's an older girl. She wasn't perfect, but you know what? We don't need perfect animals because we enjoy animals. So this one's got a little bit of a kink in its tail. It's a little bit funny shaped, but really. It's gonna make, it's gonna go with a beautiful boy, live happily ever after. And she is a proven female and she's eight years old. So kind of fun. Yeah. Kind of fun. Proven breeder too. Right, so here's some more cool animals. They're a mixture of ball pythons, a GHI, a ivory, a, uh, ooh, I forgot what that one was. Hmm, I have to look for the label. Uh, 
It's a banana. Is it yeah, the it's a banana. Pastel I just banana? can't remember which banana it is. I think, that is I think it's a banana. cinnamon. Oh. oh, it could be the super pastel there. banana. Yeah. It's got, no, I, but I don't think, I feel like we got, we have another banana. I the think. sales guy is saying it is the super banana. Okay, well, the sales guy <laughs> might know what he's talking about because he's the king of the morph market. Anyway, 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 let's see here. So we got all kinds of stuff. So what do we got here? Go ahead, Julia. One of the oh, wait till you see this. I know what that is. That was the... Yeah. So here oh. is another banana. This is a banana inchy. Big, beautiful one. Now this one's funny enough going to stay in the zoo more than likely. Because we're going to probably use them uh, for educational programs about morphs and all the different colorations of snakes that come. So, should be pretty cool. All kinds of fun stuff in here. So, there's another green killed snake, a uh, 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 kill, lizard. yeah, kill belly lizard. I didn't know they were called bellied. Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess he must have a, something funny about his belly, but I can't see it. But super long tail, more green, less blue. And then we got we got these cool panthers. Wow, there's animals loose everywhere in here. They just, oh, but he didn't get out. But he's safe. You see, I put them in these containers so that the container, so basically they're not in bags, so they're kind of protected against each other. Everybody's gonna do great, I can tell. So that's a little panther. We're gonna get him. He's been a day without water, which is not a big deal, but we want to make sure that we get him back back to water. So check this out. Is this unbelievable or what? How cool. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous tag you. Purple phase albino. And uh, I'm excited about here, this one. let's set that down. Okay, you're excited about that one, but I have something I'm pretty excited about. And it got very dirty in that bag. This is actually a surprise for our breeder of our snakes. I say our breeder of our snakes because even though I'm the breeder. I'm not all, I don't really do as much breeding as I used to because I'm all over the place. I might go out of town, I'm in and out. So at the end of the day, Tim, Tim, is he here? No. Ah, oh, day off. Uh, he isn't here today, so he's not gonna be able to see it today, but this is a beautiful snake. It's actually from our bloodline, from some breeding from a long time ago. And, uh, they bred the babies that they grew up because you know what we never made one of these so they were able to make the world's first because they picked up some animals from us that had cool genes and they bred them and we didn't breed we didn't breed to it as soon we're busy with other projects that's the cool part is you can literally make oh, man i'm about ready to lose it if i can't get it there you go there you go there you go Oh, I'm right, it's it. So check this out. The world's first platinum motley titanium albino. And look at the color on that thing. So the motley and the platinum together and albino. And I don't, I might've made one of these now when I think about it, but it still didn't matter. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna have to go look now because I can't remember if it was if I made a motley one or not. I might have made this in Mochino, but I can't remember if I got the platinum in it or not. Anyway, super awesome snake. And I just decided, you know what? Bring back some of our bloodline. Pretty cool animal. Another another cool snake. An Amel Phantom. Nope. Yeah. Amel Phantom which we don't breed uh, AMLs anymore, so that's kind of something we don't normally have. And it was an auction again, that was an auction. Uh, look at that. Some more of those purple albinos. Pretty, pretty amazing. We had to move animals all over the containers in order to get them to fit, so. Two three yeah, those are three yeah, more little same. ones. Absolutely beautiful purple albinos. Check this out. We got a little breeding group of these. They're ant hill. Uh, they're called termite geckos. They're basically from a different area, and uh, they're really cool because they got the, not normally this color. There's another species that's similar, crocodile skink, but these ones here come with. They're a little bit different species. They come from a little bit different area, and they're very cool looking. They're like almost like gray and white, which is, makes them completely different than the other ones. Yeah. 
Now here's some more cool stuff we got. So look at the pattern on these. Ugh, these things freak me out. They're just naked snakes. They're naked snakes. They're creepy. So this is an an this is pet for Annery, Texas rats. But look at the color on them. They look like corns. They got incredible patterns. These things you should they're they're they they have no scales. None. They're just like literally smooth like your skin. So if you feel it, it literally feels like human skin. Pull pull something out. See. Pull something out. Oh. These more of these? Or? Uh sure. Show them one. Find one that's different pattern. That one's pretty crazy pattern. So these are gonna be for the zoo. Yeah. They're kind of just a, a random thing that happened in the wild. Here, you wanna pull this out? Oh, here, pull this out. So this, <laughs> this is funny. It's called, <laughs> what is the name of these things? Oh, the Northern Spiny Tail. Northern Spiny Tail. Really so this is crazy because these guys here, Let's say why he himself is. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's a killer in more ways than one. So if these guys get really upset, they actually lift their tail up and throw poison all out of its whole entire tail. There's it literally one. sprays, hopefully we can find a picture to show you guys, of it spraying the venom poison, basically poison, because it poison's ingested. It'll spray it right in the air, right in the animal's eyes. And it comes right out of this tail. So they're absolutely incredible. My daughter has one. This one, this one, the guy just wanted to get rid of because he could never put it with another gecko because he put it with a female and he just grabbed it and just annihilated it. Annihilated it. And so he's like, <laughs> says on here, pet only. Killed cage mate. <laughs> Worth five hundred dollars, hundred bucks to somebody that isn't going to breed it. So anyway, we decided that we like people. We like anything that's been cast out because you know what. It's okay. He can't be, have a roommate, but he's still a beautiful animal. Neat, really cool. Is one of the most amazing geckos on the planet Earth. The way it does that. And now here's a very cool snake. So this snake here, I actually have to remember all that's a mahogany. It's a mahogany spider pied. Spied, I think, is what they call it. So it's a mahogany also. And uh, it's actually yeah, ma a, a spider mahogany pied proven breeder thought, wow, it is so beautiful. Look at that snake. And you know what? US Ark, we were supporting them, trying to swing hard, trying to help US Ark. And uh, we still got a great deal. That's the funny part. They raised $143,000 and we, we hit pretty hard to help with that. So, because we, we there was a time when we were literally fighting side by side. I had to go to Capitol Hill, go in front of a bunch of attorneys and, and give a whole speech about how the Burmese pythons can't live in Alaska and because of they were, the scientists were saying they could, but of course it was kind of all a hoax. But anyway, the only reason why we can have, this is cool too. So you've seen, you've oh. seen all our sulfur monitors. Oh, man. They have sharp claws, and this one's no exception. So this is basically the same as our sulfur, just a young one, and a uh, pretty cool animal. So Hopefully female. Yep, hopefully girl, because then we can breed them. So uh, pretty awesome. It's actually going to my videographer, and it's going to be a beautiful female. He can grow up, and we can do a breeding partnership and make some cool babies, and that's pretty fun, I think, because you know what? They're, they're not endangered, but they are threatened because people eat them all the time out in the wild. And you know what? We don't really, we understand. I mean, I understand these guys eat animals. We eat animals. I mean, the animals, I mean, if we don't eat them, then we grow, then we go down and cut the forest and grow our plants so we can be vegetarians and destroy every living animal to be a vegetarian. So really we're all guilty of some form of, of uh, animal animal stuff in some degree that's why we got to try to coexist and make things as as you know reproducible as possible so i don't want to take them out of the wild this one here was captive raised in captivity in the country of origin and is pretty awesome and we'll hopefully get able to continue doing that we were actually lucky enough to be some of the first people in the united states to breed water monitors which was kind of cool and of course you've seen them on tv mr kipling and all that that those were some of the first that animal's moms 
produced the first babies that I personally know of in the United States. But, you know, that was a long time ago. And kind of a fun fact. And here's another cool chameleon. And what's in the bag, Juliet? Uh, tegus. Huh? Tegus. Oh, those are the tegus. Yeah. Some more tegus. And one more, one more cool vanilla desert. And, uh, male. And there we go. Look at that. Another chameleon. Beautiful panther. Getting ready to shed. Need some water. We'll set them all up. And you know what? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we had a good time, huh? Yeah, I had a very good time. Got to support our hobby. Day. Got to meet hundreds and thousands of you that were out there at the show. Take photos with everybody. So it was really a great time in Tenley Park. And heck, I wonder if I'll be in a city next to near you soon. And if I am, I hope you show say up. Say hi. <laughs> yeah. Hope you show up to say hi because we'd like to meet you. And if you're ever in Fountain Valley, California, we're by LA, by Disneyland, by... We're by everything. SeaWorld's that way. Universal Studios that way. Catalina's that way. We're right here <laughs> at Fountain Valley in California. So hopefully we get to see you, Juliet. You had, you had a little superstar show up that, that took a photo with you. Yeah. She said she was a super, she was her biggest fan. Mm -hmm. She was that tall. Was, <laughs> anyway, really living chill. the dream. We're having a great time. And I hope you guys enjoy all these are crazy, amazing animals that we get to work with and see. Sometimes we're traveling to see them, sometimes they're here, but at most importantly, you're everywhere and we hope to meet you guys one day. Peace out. See ya.